If it's okay with your mum, you can play with this if you like. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. You're very welcome. Jack? Jack Chaser, it is you. Claire? What are you doing here? Well, never mind that. How are you? It's been such a long time, like ten years since I saw you last. Yeah, must be about that. You haven't changed a bit. The last time I saw you, you were playing in a band. Uh, <laughs> what was it called? Death Pit. That's the one. You were really good. <laughs> we were terrible. God. Our best song was called Suck on My Sewage Pipe. <laughs> Is that the one that you played at the charity show? Where all the grannies had to be ushered out and all the kiddies started <laughs> crying. That's the one. So, what are you doing with yourself now? Did you ever go to med school? I did indeed. I'm now Dr Claire Stevens. Wow, that's awesome. How about you? You still in the music biz? Not exactly. Although, it is still pretty rock and roll. I'm an IT technician. <laughs> So, where are you headed? Just took a job at a weather station. The ECAF Research Centre? Yeah, that's it. That's where I work. How long are you going to be with us for, then? I'm just temping for six weeks. Oh, do you think it'll last six weeks? It is in the middle of nowhere. And you do realise there's no pubs there. You what? Excuse me, sir. I have an anomaly here. I've told you before. Don't call me sir. I'm not your boss. I'm sorry, sir. Jack. Ah, it looks like a centre dropout. We usually send this to tech, but they left on the first transport this morning. Send it to Colville. Let them deal with it. Christmas bonus. Oh, just in time. So do you have any plans for Christmas? I bet you can't wait to get home. Jack Chizer to the medical bay. Jack Chizer to the medical bay. He won't be going anywhere. He'll be here for Christmas. Oh no. Has he been chosen for maintenance duty? Volunteered. For the past four years. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well, Jack, I think you'll survive till I get back. So, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm really good. Why don't you come back with me for the holidays? It would do you the world of good. I'm sure Carter can get someone to cover for you. No, I told you. I'm fine. Honestly. Jack, I'm not a psychologist, but I think you're agoraphobic. We need to get you some support. I'm not agoraphobic. Agoraphobia is a fear of the outside. I don't fear it, I just don't like it. And besides, I've got everything I need right here. Well, let's talk about this when I get back. You should be getting yourself back upstairs now, OK? OK, are you coming? I'm just going to finish up here. I'll jump on the next one. Well, say hello to Mike and the kids for me. You look after yourself. I'll see you in the new year. Goodbye. Bye. The final transport is ready for departure. All remaining personnel, please exit the building now. now, Jack. You're going to be all right on your own. Don't worry about me. Go on, enjoy yourself. Come on, Dan, I'll see Dan's you in the new year. To leave. See you, Jack. Right. Is that the last of them, Jim? Yes. I have locked down the facility. Well, let's get this party started. Hit the music. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Sorry to spoil your fun, Jack, but we have an error with one of the servers. <sighs> Fine. Is that it, Jim? No, it's still not active. Hold on, I think I see the problem. Ah! Are you okay, Jack? Ah! No, cut myself. Should I call for medical assistance? No, I'll get some platters from downstairs. You know what, Jim? I've been thinking. In our family, we used to have a tradition. Christmas Eve, we always open one present. 
And you know what the day is, Jim? It's Christmas Eve. That's right, Jim Bob. I'm afraid I don't have a present for you, Jack. That's all right. This is more of a reciprocal gift. Set level three. Are you ready? I'm ready. Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> I'm afraid my sensors cannot determine what that is. It's an Ethernet cable, and what it means is I can plug you into my games console. Set level four. Hey, do you reckon we should leave a note for Santa? Up on the surface level, you know, just to let him know we're down here. I'm not sure what you mean. Do you require psychiatric help? Hilarious, Jim. I see that humor upgrade. It ain't been wasted. Knock, knock. Who's that? Madam. Madam who? Madam fingers are stuck in the door. Can you open it, please? Now, that is humor. No, Jim. That is sad and pathetic. And you'll be telling last week. Jim! Jim! What the hell's going on? Was it an earthquake? Surface. I'm afraid that is impossible. Sub-levels 3 to 6 have been compromised. Compromised? What the hell do you mean compromised? Large amounts of radiation have been detected. <laughs> oh, I see. Hilarious. I bet Tony's put you up to this one. I bet you're all having a right laugh. Jack, I think you should look at the monitor on this floor. Okay. I'll play along. Open the doors. <laughs> 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 Ground floor level one contaminated. Sub level one contaminated. Sub level two contaminated. Where the hell's all the smoke coming from? I'm not sure, but the console should show you. Electrical fire in the audio suite. <laughs> Oh, I think the fire's completely out, Jim. What's the damage, Jim? Ground floor down to sub-level six of large amounts of radiation. Enough to kill a human within ten minutes, by my estimation. Well, at least the fire's out. What's the food situation like? Luckily for you, Jack, this floor houses the entire food store. Enough for the entire crew for 18 months. Well, we should be alright for a few days then. <sighs> what day are we on now, Jim? Thursday. Well, we'll be back Monday. So I'll only be down here three days. Come on, get the music on. I'm afraid we don't have any music. I cannot access the mainframe. What? Well, pick us a film out to watch then. Make it somewhat good. We have no films. Well, what about my old console games? They're still on the server, right? We have no access to the servers. So we've got no entertainment at all? For three days? Hey, the CCTV's back up and running. There's still no sign of anybody. They should have been back by now, Jim. You detected anything outside? Nothing detected. It's been two months now. I don't think anybody's coming back. How long have we got to stay down here? The radiation levels will remain fatal for approximately eight years. 
How long is the food gonna last? For an average male of your age, the food should last 8 years and 13 days. But at your current consumption rate, it will only last 5 years. Whatever. Stuff. This facility was opened in 1976. They are some of the belongings left behind by the staff over the years. <laughs> Give me some sugar, baby. Might be a game. Let's get this bad boy set up. It's bowling gym. Now the name of the game is you have to knock down all the pins. Here, I'll go first and show you how it's done. But you only knock down three pins. I know Jim, but you get another go to knock down the rest. <laughs> yes. Your go, Jim. Now take your time and try to line it up in the middle. <laughs> Beginner's luck. Come on, let's have another game. We have a signal from the International Space Station. It shows an area unaffected by radiation. What? No radiation at all? Correct. You know what that means, Jim? This information could save the world. No, Jim. Schwarzenegger. He was an action star. You must have heard of him. <sighs> Come on, give me a chance. Six and nine, sixty-nine. A royal flush? Wait a minute. Are you seeing this, monkey balls? He's been cheating. We took you in off the streets, and we gave you a home, and you're cheating on Christmas Day? You need to take a serious look at yourself, Horner. You think I haven't heard you and Monkey Balls talking about me? And I wouldn't be surprised if Jim's in on it as well. Well, listen up. I'm Captain Jack Chizer. And this is my operation. And you will not sabotage it. Alright? Jack, we have a radio signal coming through. Don't wind me up, Jim. Seriously, there is a radio signal. So the survivors? It's hard to tell from the recording. Well, let's hear it then. Send it through to the audio room. Patch it through, Jim. Yeah, I've got it. Right, let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. Is 
Jim was thrown. Salvation. You hear that, Jim? Salvation. Salvation City. Got a destination, but we just don't know where it is. And we can't stay here much longer. We need to start planning. Well, we know we need to go south, but we don't know where the radiation is. Well, I can detect radiation up to a 50 mile radius in the base. So that puts us here, but there's still a long way to go. This is going to be a problem. Jim Bob. Woo! <laughs> Can you hear me, Jim? I just had to take you offline for a moment. Yes, I can hear you, Jack. Now, open your eyes. I don't understand. How do I open my eyes? There's a new program on your file system. Execute it. And that is not even the best bit. Move your wheels. You didn't think I was going to leave you behind, did you, Jim? You just need me to come along to detect the radiation. Yeah. Now, come on. We've got work to do. Food. Check. Water. Check. Tent. Check. Devilish good looks. Check. Ah, hold it. I'm not very good at these long goodbyes. But you're the man of the house now. It's time for us to leave. We don't know what's out there. Or if we can ever come back. Goodbye, my old friend. South, Jim. Straight ahead, Jack.
We must be getting close. How far have we come? 128 kilometers. What's that in real money? It's a figure of speech, Jim. What is it in miles? 79.5355 miles. Approximately. I reckon we should reach civilization tomorrow. Well, what's left of it? Do you ever have dreams, Jim? I aspire to be as efficient as possible. I don't mean that kind of dream, Jim. I mean the kind you have when you sleep. Please explain. It's like a vision. A memory. It plays in your head while you're asleep. An involuntary recall. Exactly. What do you dream about, Jack? Doesn't matter. We really need to get you some better aspirations, Jim. Because efficiency, it just ain't a cool dream. You're a robot now, not just any run-of-the-mill computer system. <laughs> Maybe we should find you a lady robot. I would very much like to interface with another system. <laughs> now you're talking, Jim. Go on, what would you say to her? I would request access to their database. Yeah, I think we need to work on your chat-up lines. Is everybody? Dr. Stevens? So they might actually have got out of here alive. Not everyone got out alive, Jack. Nothing much of use in there. But at least we know that the compass is working. Now we know the plane was heading to London. Assuming it was taking a direct course, that means we're travelling due south as planned. How many miles have we travelled, Jim? 84 miles. Ah, so that means approximately 70 miles to the nearest town. Maybe that's where the survivors are. Maybe that's where Claire is. I'm sorry to tell you, Jack, but it is highly unlikely that anyone could have survived outside for any prolonged period. Well, you never know. The area obviously wasn't affected that badly. I mean, there's tons of vegetation. Don't let appearances fool you. We may even see fruit growing. But don't eat it, Jack. It will be contaminated and deadly for humans. <sighs> Come on, Jim. Let's get a move on. This place gives me the creeps. Can you hear that, Jim? Sounds like a music. It's coming from over there. Hello? that Jim. It was a zombie. It wasn't a zombie, Jack. It was a bloody zombie. If it weren't for my Kung Fu skills, probably eating me alive. Kung Fu? Yeah, Kung Fu, Jim. I could see through the door, Jack. She slipped and banged her head. Yeah, but I pushed her. Oh, well done, Jack. You killed an infirm, malnourished old lady. Grow up, Jim. Where are you heading? I was worried there wasn't any survivors. 
or at least anyone that wasn't a zombie. You're not a zombie, are you? What's that? That's Jim. He's sort of a robot. So where have you come from? About 60 miles north. We've been underground for the last eight years. You've not been outside for 12 years, Jack. Let's not bore the man with the details. We've heard a broadcast about Salvation City. Is that where the survivors are? How many survived? Do you have any water? Yeah, of course. Hey, wait up. So, Salvation City, is it far? No, not too far. I'm heading there myself. Welcome to tag along. Come on, Jim. There's no government at all. No, it's all just kind of messed up. There's two main gangs. There's the Silas gang in Havenport. They have the water. And there's the Dreyfus gang in Electric City. They have the power plant. Well, what about Salvation City? You'll see it for yourself. We're almost there. We just gotta make one quick stop first. Who's this Slater? This. This is Jack. He's got a bag full of food and water he's gonna give us. You are? Sorry, Jack. It's just business. What we're gonna do now? We got no map, we got no water. All we got is this poxy sachet of ketchup. It doesn't look like there's anybody there. Are you picking anything up, Jim? Nothing. <sighs> I'm gonna have to take a look. After you, Jim. Jack, I'm in the kitchen. It looks like I have found the farmer. Poor bastard. He must have starved to death. I have analyzed the fibers in the clothing. This man died of prolonged exposure to radiation around three years ago. So if he's been dead for three years, that means he survived out here for five years in the middle of nowhere. What the hell has he been living on? I'm not sure, but he was certainly not farming. Come on, Jim. Let's take a look around. <laughs> yeah, baby. Hey, up, Jim. Cop a load of this. Realistically, Jim. How many survivors do you think there is out there? I estimate a reduction of 98% of the human population in the past 10 years. The chances are, nobody I know is still alive. Did you have a family? I don't 
just need to get away for a while. Is everything okay at home? Sorry, I don't mean to pry. <sighs> That's okay. Something happened. If you ever need to talk, I'm here. No pressure. But sometimes, it's really good just to talk about these things. Anytime you want to come and see me at ECAF, you do that. That's what I'm there for. Hostess, can I grab a whiskey? There were so many people. They came out of nowhere. We got swamped. Tried to hold their hands, but the current of the crowd, it was too strong. <sighs> My wife and son, they were killed in the riots. I did have a family, once upon a time. Looks like we're here, Jim. I don't think we're going to find much here. First in the art of Kung Fu. Why didn't you use your Kung Fu Jack? Shut up, Jim. Take these two. My best two. I'm gonna get Cyrus down here, Tembo. Time, you need to get a message to salvation. Jim, 
I don't know how we're gonna get out of this one, mate. Luckily, I made a few adjustments to my infrared. Let's get out of here, Jim. Oh, hello, sir. Table for one, is it? I just want to ask you a couple of questions. Yeah, there's a table over here, sir. Would you like a menu? Do you know where Salvation City is? Never heard of it. Shall I give you a couple of minutes to decide? What's today's special? Today's special is the cheeseburger. What? A real cheeseburger? Well, the cheese is out of a tube, but the meat's fresh. I'll take the special then, please. Would you like a wine or a beer with that? Is it red? Or white? It's brown. It's a bit like the beer. Actually, it's the same drink. Some people like to be offered a choice. I'll take a beer then, please. Good choice. I'll go and get you a special. One special! One beer. Everything okay, Jack? I can't really talk right now, Jim. Just try and stay out of sight. And let me know if you see that 10 bolt dude. That'll be 50 credits, mate. I've only got these to trade. We don't trade 50 credits. I haven't got any credits. What? Billy! What is it, Bernie? This dickhead can't pay. What did he order? He had the special. Oh, dear. Lucky for you, it was just the leg. If it had been the liver, Ha! You would have been fucked! Now follow me to the kitchen! What the hell are you talking about? You have the meat, you can't pay, so we're gonna take it back! No fucking way! Bastard! How the hell do we get out of here? Get me down! You? Why the hell should I help you? You robbed me! You ate my leg! Fair enough. <laughs> oh, I love this part. Pedal faster, you bastard!
Oh, for fuck's sake. Who is it? Smiler. This better be important. These two tried to escape from the cafe. So? Send them back? Tenbolt says this one's his. He's mine. He escaped from the slave docks. And Bernie says he owes him for me. Okay. And who's the other one? He's the me. And who told you to stop peddling? Oh, for Christ's sake. Uh, there's more. This one's been talking about salvation. Says he has information that can save the world. Salvation? Dreyfus sent you, didn't he? Motherfucker. Well, if he wants another war, he can have one. I found this. Some kind of computer. I don't know anybody called Dreyfus. I'm looking for Salvation City. Let's deliver a message. You'll deliver a message, all right. You're going to send a message to that bastard in Electric City. You tell him from me. This is a breach of our agreement. One more incident, and there will be consequences. Now take that thing down to the lab. Uh, what about this one? Get on the bike. Look, I think there's been a bit of a misunderstanding here. Get on the fucking bike. I've only got one leg. OK, fine. Take him back to the cafe. And bring me back a burger. No, no, wait. You don't want one of those dirty skin pods. A man like you deserves a nice cyber girl. Take one of these. Tell him Eddie sent you. 10% discount. I'm looking for some information. I've got these to trade. We sell noodles here. But the conversation is free. I'm looking for a place. Salvation City. I can't say I've ever heard of such a place. I think it's a place where the scientists... I really need to speak to them. I have some information that could save the world. Wow, that's very dramatic. Talk like that? We'll get you killed in a hurry. Some people, they don't want to be saved. Some people just like things, well, just the way they are. And you like living like this? I didn't say that. I'm serious. I found evidence of a place unaffected by radiation. A place where we can start over. We can grow crops. We'll even have fresh air. You just don't get it, do you? OK, let's just suppose you're not another lunatic. Let's suppose this place exists. They wouldn't let us have it. They'll take it for themselves. It wasn't that long ago that you still had hope, Devon. Oh, I still have hope. Some things have to change, that's all. Salvation City must exist. I heard it on a radio broadcast. Ah, radio. Salvation is not a city. You're talking about Project Salvation. It was a scheme that was brought in to bring all the great minds together, to build a brighter future. It was here. At Electric City. I'm afraid you're too late. Most of them were killed during the revolution. Any that survived fled. You might want to think twice before asking around after them. They are an outlawed group in Electric City. So where did they all go? 
I'm sorry, I really don't know. Do you know where this is? Club Barbarella. Just go down the bottom of the street, turn left and keep going. Thanks. What are you serving? Credit or trade. What is it? Vodka. <laughs> all of me. Why not take all of me? That was brilliant. I haven't seen you around here before. I'm from somewhere else, but I do believe we've got a mutual friend. Claire Stevens? <laughs> okay. One more drink before. Bartender. Two more of whatever that was. How do you know Claire? I worked with her at ECAF Research, but I've seen her more recently at Havenport. Now, she told me to find salvation, and she drew me this symbol. Where is she now? I think they killed her. She must have been a messenger. The last messenger was executed. I haven't heard from salvation for three months now. There have been rumours Dreyfus has been sending out search parties to find them, not kill them, but to bring them back to Electric City. The generators in the city are failing and no one knows how to repair them. Without them, Electric City will be finished. Silas and those beasts from Havenport would make light work of slaughter is all. Who's Dreyfus? You're really not from around here, are you? Dreyfus is the boss of Electric City. And you think he knows where to find them? Maybe. But no one sees Dreyfus without being invited. Where can I find him? You'll get killed. That's my concern. Santa's Grotto. Just tell me. Winner Wonderland, Lime Street. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kids only. No pedos. I'm here to see Dreyfus. Nobody sees Dreyfus. Listen, it's really important that I speak to him. You a player? A player? Yeah, yeah, I'm a player. You're a player. Listen, mate, I'm the player. Okay. It's me, boss. Idiot. I know it's you. Who else would it be? There's a player here. A player? Hello. 
I'm Jack. I've just come here to ask- Shh! What is this, Sharon? Some kind of sick joke? I thought he was a player. Look, you play the game and win, you get a thousand credits. You play the game and lose, you die. You don't play the game, you die. Just play the game. I ain't here to play no games. Okay, listen. Let me tell you what I'm gonna do. If you win, I'll give you a thousand credits. You can ask your question, and I'll even let you pick the game. Otherwise, Sharon here is gonna have to blow your brains out and ruin this nice ambiance. Nobody wants that. Well, when you put it like that, sounds like a great deal. Any game. Any game. This one. Sudden Death, Player One. Player Two. Player One. No. Player Two. Okay, you've won. So you get to ask your question. I need to know where Salvation is. I'll draw you a map. It's the other side of Radiation Lake. But you're gonna need this. I'm gonna need one more thing. I need to pay an old friend a visit. I'm gonna need some firepower. In Havenport? Yeah, Havenport. Hear you, Jack. What the hell have they done to you? Come on, let's get you out of here. The Salvation Boy's back, causing havoc. He's killed Bernie and the Butcher. What? And he's released the slaves. I think we've lost them. Don't worry, Jim. We'll get you all fixed up. We just need to find salvation. Well, the good news is that I still have the information. They took my hard drive, but I made a backup in my RAM. The bad news is that my battery is dying. As soon as it does, the information will be lost forever. We'll soon be coming up to Radiation Lake. Jack, radiation levels are rising. I estimate that you will only have three hours to reach the other side. Let's do this.
battery at 3%. Radiation levels are still rising. You cannot sustain this dosage for much longer Jack. Maybe we should turn back. Battery at 1%. Radiation levels are dangerously high. to join us Mr. Chizer. So, tell me this, do you still want to save the world? Don't I know you from somewhere? <laughs> Welcome to Salvation! Salvation! 